measurements of the cuff, the circumference of the cuff, start with the measurement of the wrist itself. We'll take the tape measure and we'll wrap it around right at the wrist and mark, bring 10 around and wherever 10 and the other side of the tape matches up, that's 17 and a half, so 17 and a half or excuse me, 17 and a quarter minus 10. That's seven and a quarter. And then we'll add three inches to that measurement to give the finished cuff measurement. So the finished cuff measurement here would be 10 and a quarter for a standard button cuff. Now for French cuff, we'll take that same measurement, seven and a quarter, and we'll add three and a half inches to four depending upon how large a French cuff, how big the circumference the gentleman prefers. So at seven and a quarter plus three and a half, his French cuff circumference, that would be the measurement around, would be at 10 and three quarters. We add an additional half an inch, that would be 11 and a quarter, which would give him a very large circumference on his French cuff. On the cuff measurement, for a gentleman who wear a watch on that left side, you may want to increase the size of that left cuff. Typically, a half to three quarters of an inch will accommodate a watch and allow that sleeve to drape over the watch. And of course, the same thing works for the right side. If he wears a watch on the right side, you'll want to make that right side uh, bigger accordingly as well.